Hello everybody and welcome. So glad to have you guys here today. Today we are going to be doing a winter grapevine. So I'm super excited about this one. This one's going to be all about the, all about the flocked greenery. So it's going to be a really simple but beautiful arrangement. We are going to be doing it on a grapevine wreath base. So let's go over some of our supplies. Okay, I have a 14 inch grapevine wreath base. I have taken because this this wreath base was not the best. I probably got it at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. So I've taken and just shoved some moss all the way in here. And that's gonna give us a little bit more to bite onto. And when we're using our floral picks, we don't want the picks to go through the back of the grapevine. So this is just giving us a little bit extra to work with here. So I've just taken some moss and gone all the way around and, and kind of shoved it down in the holes. We're gonna be using our um, locked pine base here. I've already cut some up, so when we get ready to start making the arrangement, this will already be cut up. This is the stem that we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using our little um, glittery pine spray here with the little pine cones. We're gonna be using some of our snowy glance ear, and as well as some of our little flock bushes here okay so i will link everything that we're using today down in the description of the video oh i forgot our ribbon so we are going to be using this gorgeous fair silk white birch ribbon okay so this is this is going to be what we're going to be working with today in this design so all of this will be linked down in the description i think we have everything in stock except for the snowy lambs ear so you'll want to find a good replacement for that. Um, something similar to this, okay? Um, this is the, this is out of stock. Everything else I believe we have, okay? So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so I have us up on the easel, or, or not the easel, but the, the stand here. And let's go ahead and start greening our base. I'm gonna go in with our little flock spray that I've already cut up into little pieces. And let's go ahead and start greening our base with this. Okay, so I'm gonna start right up at the top. And go straight down. We're just gonna kind of work our way around. Make sure I want to make sure that my pick is not going through the back, which it is not, so that's perfect. I'm just going to green this pretty much all the way, most of the way around. Might leave a small little section that isn't. going to keep doing this and we're going to fill it in with our other greenery but I want to get our get our base going here. This is going to be a really simple um, but beautiful design. A lot of uh, a lot of people like the sort of rustic winter designs that they can carry through. Um, not only for Christmas, but the rest of winter. So that's what we're doing today. So I want to make sure that I'm not going through the back of that grapevine. And so far, we are good. kind of weaving it in there, making sure that does not go all the way through. So we're gonna get this on and then we will work on getting our bow added. Okay, let's stop with that piece. We'll work on filling more in in a second. Let's get our bow going, okay? so. I want a 
pretty good sized tail. So that's probably pretty good. And I think we're gonna do maybe seven loops, maybe seven loops on this one. So I'm going to start, I'm gonna start small, pinch, Make sure my loops are the same size. I think we need a little bit bigger there. Well, I still am not the best at the hand bows, but we're getting much better. just like half an inch. Come up just a little bit. All right, and then pinch. And then again, we're gonna go up about half an inch. is a, a little harder to work with just because it is very, um, it's thick, but it has a nice good wire, which, you know, I love my fair self, but it, sometimes it can be a little harder to work with as far as doing like hand bows. But of course, it holds its shape. Okay, so we're gonna stop there. So I have one, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, seven loops. I'm going to get my pipe cleaner. And just twist it off. using a little wooden floral pick and I'm just going to wrap my pipe cleaner around our pick. And I'm going to take that little copper wire that's on the pick and wrap it around. blooper moment here. Let me retwist it. Take two. Do this again. Just wrapping that around my wooden pick here. Okay, and then I'm going to get some glue. on there, put some glue on my pick, and then I'm going to go right around the 11 o'clock window. Now again, I don't want that going all the way through, so let me pop that back out a little bit. Okay, and I'm not going to mess with that right now. I want, it to, I want it to dry, but you can see we've got some depth on our pick, we're gonna we're gonna green our bow here in just a second. You will not see that, but I did not push that all the way through. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a couple more pieces of our block pine here, and we're gonna start greening up around 
our bow. I'm gonna get a couple of the smaller pieces. East and West. And I'm just coming straight out with that one. Okay, we'll mess with our bow in a minute. I want to make sure that dries really good in there. Uh, I actually hit it with just a little bit more glue in there. a minute. Just gonna fold the ends under. There we go. All right. So let's add a couple more pieces of this before we move on. right here in the center. We'll sort of give that a curve. Okay, let me get one more cut up and then we'll move on with our other greenery and we can come back to this if we need more at the end. on hicks because some of these stems when you cut them short you're not going to be able to get them in the grapevine and I'll show you here in a second so the way these stems are you know typically you could put up the whole thing like you were using it for a swag but when you cut them up you can see the end is not going to stick in so we've got to pick them Sometimes the pick machine is not my friend. There we go. This area. Me and this pick machine today, I'm telling you now, it's hit or miss when it wants to work right. I'm actually going to do one right in here before we did that one. Kind of got our base green. We've got our bow. We're gonna add more green around around the bow, but it's good for now. So let's go in 
with, let's see what I want to do next. I think I want to use our little glittery pine sprays. Now these, when I cut them, have a good little stem, so I shouldn't have to pick them. I like the way that one is. No, I don't like that there. The stem is a little too long. I'm going to cut it down. these together. Okay. That we're going to need to cut down. So I'm kind of going in between our other pine pieces. So we based it with this pine. Actually, I need to turn this one around. There we go. And I'm sort of going in between with our other pine. This one I'm going to go in and give it a bend. Woo! My stand almost came off the back of my table. Okay, so I'm going to go in and sort of give it a bend. I was going to use. I should have known better though. I, was, I knew I was going to need more than one. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. So I'm going to take this shorter piece. I'm going to come right up underneath. See if I got another shorter piece to go right up at the top. See if I can get it in there without using a pick. There we go. on that one real quick before I put the glue on it. I'm going to give it a little bit, bit of a thin. I'm going to go right in there. Okay. Again, I'm going to give this a bend. Okay, I'm 
waffling on that piece. Let me step back and just look at it from a distance. Yeah, this piece here looks like we've got some weird, weird flyaway with that thing. Yeah, I like it better on the side like that. center that piece there okay so this is what we have so far starting to fill out nicely okay now let's go in with our lamb here and if you don't if you didn't get any of the lands here while we had it in stock, you know, just look for something, maybe a frosted eucalyptus, um, anything that's kind of leafy. That's what we're going for here. Now I think this one I'm gonna cut in half. Because I want a small little piece to start kind of covering up our mechanics on our bow here. So we want to cover that little pipe cleaner. Okay. Get another piece. Okay. We'll cut this down again. here. And I'm kind of bending them so that they're facing out this way a little bit. Work 
lost track of how many this is. Probably, well, probably on number four. centerpiece. I almost want a little center loop. And we can also take, maybe we do a little bridge. Let's see if I like that. I'm not sure if I like that. We'll come back to that. But we can also take, let me see, we wanted and we could do a bridge with our ribbon like come across here something else that would be really pretty in here and I didn't think about it just now but our little snowy owl I will have to do another arrangement using our little snowy owl he would look really good sitting here and this ribbon would be beautiful yeah let's do a little bridge okay so I'm just gonna take my ribbon and I'm just gonna pinch it I'm going to put a pick on it. I'm not going to get that tucked right in underneath. Right in the center of that. It looks like it's just a continuation from our bow. Let me see if I want to lower it. I think I want to lower it. Let's do a do-over. Okay, so we're going to go in here. Okay, and I'm going to pinch it right about here. So don't be afraid to make your own tails. And y'all, I was not very smart because I did not put my pick on it before I... Okay, so let's just use a wooden, a wooden pick since I did not put my pick on both ends. So I'm just gonna get one of our little wooden picks. Wrap that around there. And hit it with some glue. there. Let me step back and make sure I like it. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay, so we have our little bridge. Let's put a little nub of the lamb's ear that I chopped off earlier and let's just put it right next to that pick. That'll help secure it and also help hide our mechanics. and I have this piece. I'm almost thinking if we put it in the center, kind of growing growing up behind our little bridge there. Let me cut this down. Okay, that little 
piece is just kind of growing back behind our little bridge. Just ran into the pole, y'all. All right, let me look. Beautiful. This one a little bit more of a fin. I'm going to make this one go right here. Just fill in that little hole a little bit. Okay. Now let's take some of our little flopped pieces. I'm going to take these. I'm going to start filling this in some more. Now I'm going to go in, I'm going to bend it, and I'm going to go straight in. Just kind of bend it how I want it. Okay, I'm going to go right up in this area up here. and go right up there. I'm going to get right behind that little loop, like right in there. I'm going to go right behind my loop. these little rustic pieces and they're usually pretty good sellers. A lot of people that like the rustic look. Okay, this one I need to add a little glue on the stem. Okay, I'm going to go right up underneath, sort of straight up for that grapevine. We're just filling in the little holes now. Let me cut this one just a tad bit shorter. I'm going right up in here. I don't like the way that one's sitting, so let me do it again. Just hit it with my glue gun. Okay, let's go right in here. We need a piece right in the center. So let me get that. I'm going to go right in the center and then kind of um, fold it down, bend it down. And make sure that pick is in there good. I want to make 
sure it's not going through the back of that gray line. There we go. All right, let me hit that with my glue gun just since I was messing with it a little bit. going to take and just pull these little pieces off so I can get a pick on it. And then I'm just going to go right in the center. Right up underneath that bow and it's just kind of coming out into the center. Building out our little loop we created. Okay, again, I'm just gonna pull these little pieces off. this area towards the bottom. Love. So, so pretty. step back. I think we're about done. Beautiful. Okay, I see two spots. I see a spot right here where we need something. And this piece right here is kind of having a little part here. So I think we need to maybe put, I think I'm going to take one of these little nubbies. just the littlest things can make a difference. Okay, I'm going to get another piece of our longer pine. To go and fill in Right in here. We need something a little bit coming out over there. We got a little bit of a hole. think we need a piece right here. We're almost done, y'all. Almost done. At this point, we're just looking for holes. Filling in holes. Making sure something's not having its own party that we're blending. Beautiful. Almost think we maybe need a little piece right in this little center. Let me just look. Yes. So 
I'm going right next to that um, spot where we tied in our little bridge. So I'm just adding another little piece of that pine. And it's kind of helping support our support our little bridge here. Okay. Let me step up. Want to do something right in here? It looks a little off to me. Like I need to break this piece up a little bit. So let me see what I want to use. I think I want to go in with our little flopped, another piece of our little heavily flopped spray. two pieces over just in case. I'm going to look. I think now that we added one here, I think we need one here. More towards the front. They were towards the sort of the back of the arrangement. And now I want to kind of pull, bring it out and have them a little bit forward. make sure it looks good when I photograph it but here is our beautiful winter rustic design okay everyone here is our final arrangement our final our final wreath I think it turned out beautifully I hope you guys enjoyed this winter sort of rustic uh, design until next time, bye y'all.